That took long enough. <laughs> I'm glad I'm better at bricklaying than freaking computers. Hello, everyone. What a palaver. Right, who have we got? Oh, dear. Thanks, Mum, for keeping everyone in check for us. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Christine. Or Mum. Andrew W. Um, yeah, that's it so far. Maybe we what people have got. Oh, hello, what's a lot? Oh, well, that took long enough. The problem was, is we were trying to set up a new live and we're putting this one on. But we got there in the end. We're here now. Yeah. Go on there. I don't know. It's still going. Can you carry on talking while I sort this out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get back to the bottom. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, we're, we're here now. <laughs> Get that sorted. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the chat up on here so we can read it. Okay, we can see you now. <laughs> yep, thank goodness that was. <coughs> Bloody hell. That was a palaver. He wasn't dressed at half past seven anyway. Left me to it. <sighs> I had to wear a dress to impress, even though I couldn't find the shirt. Talking of dress to impress. There it is. We have got two, but let's go and find this. Finally got uh, some merch sorted out. Not that uh, we've sold three, but I bought those. <laughs> so far, so good. Cook from the news pole. Yeah, it took a while, but we finally, um, a couple of videos back, um, one of the little videos, we also did a steel job on it, and the guy who we did the job for is a graphic designer, and he, he actually approached me. He said, let me do some stuff for you. So, um, obviously, he's, he's done the channel, the channel art, uh, but the, this, he's done a couple of designs, and he wants to design, um, redesign the van, doesn't he? Yeah. Which he's working on at the moment, which should be interesting. But um, the van's a bit of a sore point at the moment because uh, it broke down today. It's not been a good day. We rained off. Uh, I went out. Where did I go today? Oh, yeah, I went to work to book in the last house we just finished for get paid for Christmas. Got back to the estate and basically it felt like someone super glued the gears, couldn't, couldn't hit the gears. So I um, drove down in the car to see me make Mark who does the van and he said it's either going to be expensive or very expensive. So not looking forward to tomorrow. Don't talk that bad. <laughs> Bob the Bricky, hello. Hello, Bob. Poor old transit. <laughs> oh, he's done, done us proud. I've had him at it six, it's just over six years. Mm -hmm. So it's been paid for for two. So it's, it's done us good. It's a bit battered now, but um, it's probably time for a new one, but we'll have to see what happens. See how many t shirts we sell. Mark. All sorted, yep. Yeah. Throw it around, did then. That <laughs> one, yeah, it's all fixed. Yeah, he got to work for properly. He got to work properly on the pegs this time instead of just labouring and pointing. That well, wasn't fun. I had to drag him to work last week. Um, quick getting to work. Need to patch up before the roofers come. The roofers are coming on the way. I went today. No sign of the roofers. They haven't shown up for a week. So a big rush for nothing. Yep. I'll tell you what, Gareth, we'll have to sell a few t-shirts, that's for sure. Hint. <laughs> they're actually good quality. They're not embroidered, but they're um, it's quite it's not it's not like thick stuff, is it? You know what I mean? Like you iron it and it falls off. Yeah. It's all there anyway, if anyone wants to buy one, or if you know anyone who wants to buy one. Teespring is called. It's always underneath the videos now on YouTube. It's all linked. 
put it in a minty large. Anyone got any questions to get us going? Better not be the chocolates. Oh, what are we both eating? I'm drinking coffee. Hi, Rob. Oh. Bounce back loan, Steve. Is it still on for your van? What's that mean, Mark? Don't get that. Maybe not, then, if he doesn't even know what it is. What? A bounce back loan. No, he's asking if you've got one. I don't know what one is. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You probably don't if you don't know what it is. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Uh, hi Rob, uh, not very well. Still smarting from the news that the van's broke. I suppose it's broke in 2020. I'm glad I didn't wait till 2021. What was the pick and dip like? Do you think you changed to that? No. <laughs> Alex hates it because it's not easy. I understand how, how it's better, but I just don't like it. It's just you spend all those years muscle memory just doing the same thing over and over and then you've got to relearn everything and when you've been at it as long as I have it's, it's hard work I just can't get me head around the um, scooping the perp and the top of the perp never filling I, I can't my OCD won't let me do that so I have to perp the bricks <laughs> cheers Gareth <laughs> oh thanks Gareth <laughs> we'll put that in the van fund <laughs> that's very kind of you Why do you hide your logo on the van? We don't like hide the logo. We hide the phone number and the registration number. Because there's, there's all, all you great lads are out there. There's a few idiots out there as well. So we don't give private stuff away like that. The only thing we give away to make contact with us is, is our email, which is, is for the channel. And it's, it's come quite handy, actually, having the email so people can make contact. That's always in the, in the, in the description so people can contact us. That's how I got the truck when my van blew up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the um, the COVID thing. I'll have to look into that. You're, look not the, you're not the sharpest knife in the drawer. No. To mom. Well, that's true. Hi, love the channel. Quick question. How come you don't simply work for yourself on domestic stuff? I took the plunge about a year ago. Um, it's looking like that at the moment. Um, we've worked on foundations for 10 years. Which, which we earned well on it. It was hard work. I did it for seven years on my own. Then Alex came with me. And then it just got too much physically for me. My hips aren't up to climbing in and out of trenches anymore. So we managed to get on to a local site. So we went from 260 miles a week to 17. Um, but they'll only give us one plot at a time because we're not very fast. And the good thing about that is when we're waiting for scaffold, we can go off and do all the other things, whereas I used to do everything like that weekends. So um, we can mix it both up. But we haven't got enough work to completely do with the site work. So as it is at the moment, we have to do both. I really, really don't like the site work because the company we work for just, they just, they're a joke. They don't like Brittle do they? No. they? Do not treat it well. Uh, compared to the company we used to work for, they're just, uh, they're not good. They're not, in, they're not, all the lads are great, all the other bricklayers, there's a, there's a couple of lads called um, Paul and Colin, and they've been there for years, and they see you doing anything wrong, they'll be straight over and tell you how to do it, keep an eye on you all the time, and if it wasn't for them, we'd have made a lot of mistakes, because we've been out of the building game for so long, All of, obviously all the, all the rules change all the time, we were doing, uh, getting the uh, course in bricks in the wrong place, weren't we? Yeah. Like, um, you can't have a course and brick under lintel. It's got to be a full block or a three quarter, nothing less. So we had to change all that and just just little things, little tips and helpful stuff. It was great working next to them too. So at the moment we're done till after Christmas because um, all the uh, ground workers are concentrating on doing CMLs, getting people in for Christmas, get the money in. Uh, so no plots are getting prepared. Hopefully we'll have a pro plot in the bottom corner soon. Up, uh, touch wood, we get that one, which is a four bed detached, which would be handy because we're not stuck next to someone then and we're not slowing them down with the scaffold. What's happening to the van? What's happened to the van? Um, 
drove drove it fine this morning. Coming back in, pulled onto our estate, went changed down to second gear and just wouldn't move. So at the moment, basically, it feels like someone's glued the gear stick in and it won't, won't move. If you move it with two hands and ram it in, you can get it into gear. So I've got to limp it down to the garage tomorrow and see what happens. But um, the thing with the van that age, it's never cheap when it goes in. Oh, I keep purping the bricks, pick and dip. <laughs> Do we get off of more work now that we've been on YouTube? Yeah, we've been off of work. Everywhere, all over the country, haven't we? That's the worst thing. We've had to turn some down just because they're way too far away. Yeah, like London, Scotland, like proper long way away. Um, we've even been asked by um, Rob Songer to go and help him out on a, on a wall. That was supposed to be this year, but um, that didn't happen this year. So um, that was the pinnacle being asked by Rob Songer to go and give him a lift. Yeah. I start getting off my board to start with... I'm doing recommendations. Yeah, Robert. The um, all our work is from word of mouth and recommendations. We don't advertise. The only advertising we do is the van, and you'll get people to come up and say, "Have you got a card?" Or take a picture of the van for the number. Um. Yeah, but like uh, when we used to do conservatories, you'd always the customer would always have you back to do something in the garden. And um, there's a lad called Neil from Homeskirt. He's a joiner, but he's a very, very good. He's got a good reputation. Homeskirt. He gets a lot of work, and we get a lot of work off him. And um, one particular estate, everyone's lintels and knackered, so we're just going through the estate doing lintels. Neil's in one of the videos. The steel job at uh, Croston. No, that was fake. Vic. Yeah. Oh, was it Vic? Yeah, no. Neil's not in one of the videos. That's <laughs> fake. Never mind. We no, I did work off it for a while. I've not seen him for a while. I should put in a skip, stupid van. <laughs> so, you don't need to be on here, you know, Mum. You don't if you're just going to hurl abuse at us. <laughs> Might as well just come in and sit next to us. Yeah. Looking at what you put in the van, you need a pickup. It needs to be a big pickup. The van's always rammed with crap. Carrots aren't very nice at all. Yeah, it was a big surprise that. And it's, um, Obviously, he's the best bit player on YouTube by far. Such a nice fella as well. And good to see him back on YouTube as well. Word of the mouth is the best way. Less likely to to try and screw you over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good of you, Minty Lads. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Hey, you're lucky getting chimney removals in the winter. We'd love some inside work. Tim Webster, I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Yeah, we will. We're going to this year. Last year, we've just moved into our house. We hadn't even been in it yet this time last year. No, we moved in about three days before, didn't we? It was an absolute nightmare. It was horrible. I've got a picture on my phone and everything is like, we still have a load of plastic wrap all over the floor just to like keep the carpet clean. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like we didn't we all we did was put the tree up and didn't put any didn't decorations even decorate the tree, did we? We just had the tree. Look, she's at it again. You need to see our gardens and my windows. But just for the record, Christine gets very upset and we get trolled, and she's the worst troll ever tonight. No one can troll them but me. Right, we might be should we dip you in? you can block her, can't you? Yeah, if you block her. Yeah, I can delete all the messages. We'll just take her iPad off her. <laughs> Some nice houses in Olmsted. I drive through there to get south by every day. Yeah, I'm f I'm from Olmsted originally. There's a, there's some very fancy houses in Olmsted. Oh yeah, up near the college. Mum's not happy. <laughs> Impressive to watch some great information for the young couple coming in Britlays. Yeah, it, um, we try our best, but basically, it, with us two, it, there's no bells and whistles. We're not the best. We're not the fastest. We're just Two average bricklayers just basically filming what we do. Um, like we never used to talk at first, so that was a bit of a setback. But now we're talking, we can explain things a lot better. Um, yeah, it's just 
we um, I don't know really. It's turned out a bit of a hobby, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. For me, anyway. Yeah, for you. Yeah. Don't block her. She's very funny. <laughs> How's the pointing job going? Did you get done on it? Are you up the pointing job? Pointing job, Mark. Uh, I've got a day left on it. Um, I need to finish. I think we've got four square meters left. Alex has bricked the window up, which she, which has been on Instagram. That's been done. That, but because um, it was black, everything's black. So I'm going to finish off the pointing, and I'm going to do the um, Thompson seal on the brickwork because it's like a sponge. The old, the old uh, clay commons with the set four to one sand cement. It's, it's like very porous, so we're going to just give it a spray while the scaffold's up. Um, and then Alex is going to come in me on the last day, and I'm going to have him jet washing everything, get the whole all the drive done and the gates and everything, get it all back to. Being spotless. Been a, been a good job that. It's been on it about twelve days, so it's been a bit of a been of a bit of a lifesaver since the site work dried up. Not for me. No. <laughs> the uh, he has asthma, of the mass just that was it. He was done. One day he was done. What's up to here? Yeah, landscaping. Are we doing much like hard landscaping at all? Um, not really, no. Um, nothing on the pipeline either. Obviously, we've got that behind that computer is the garden. The garden needs doing. But we still need to do a, a bit of a muck shift on there first and get it levelled out, get some hardcore in. Yeah. And then there'll be a bit of a patio, then a wall, probably a curved wall and stonework, imitation stone, steps up into the garden, then turf the top. But there's a lot of work in it. The issue is it's clay, otherwise we'd have it done. There's mm-hmm. just too much clay for us to move. The issue is the van keeps breaking and we haven't got any money to do the garden because the van keeps breaking. <laughs> oh, slow and steady but proper job. Yeah, that should be our logo. I'll, I'll catchphrase that. To you guys, that's good as a Superman symbol. <laughs> good to be good to be indoors with the chimneys, but it always looks like been working out. Yeah, that's what we looked like the other day, raking out black mortar. Black as two in the morning. And you can never get off your eyes, so it looks like you've got eyeliner on. Uh, problems pricing, how do you get on? Uh, I did for years. But you it's, still um, do, you always underbook. Well, yeah, I suppose. Like that job we had problems on. The job from hell? Yeah, that was, that was a nightmare. That. You've, got to, you've got to allow for contingencies, like, if it's, if it's like a week's work, you've got to have another day on for anything that could go wrong. Or any extra stuff you need, so you're not going back to customers saying, "You know what? You know, I told you it was this much, but I need some more money." That's not very good. You need to allow for things like that. You need to allow half a day just for cleaning up as well, depending yeah. on the job. I never allow cleaning up time, and it's 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 unpacking your van and packing away and tidying job at the end takes up so much time, and you, you, it's work. You're not get, you're not doing it for nothing, so you need to allow for that as well. Like, always allow yourself at least half a day for tidying up and then if you, if you know you're getting paid for it then you're not rushing it and you get it done properly and you leave the place spotless and you leave a happy customer then so you just want to get, get out of here quick you need a better mask as a mathematic and a proper mask as a lifesaver that's the trouble the masks are so hard to get hold of and they're just stupid prices these are quite, quite good ones they're like hot rigid plastic very tight to your face but um, because they're so well sealed, it, 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 you feel like you're suffocated, don't you? Yeah. But they, um, they've not let anything in with this black stuff. They're completely black because nothing's got through them. Thanks very much, Terence. Thank you. Keep, just, keep it real. <laughs> we're just going to stop reading mums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys can enjoy mum's comments. We're just going to uh, yeah. ignore them. Yeah, we're just, we won't block her. We'll just ignore her. I think she's all high and mighty over there in the room. She upstairs? Yeah. All oh, right. Hi, guys. I live in a 1930s house. The mortar is a white colour. I need to point up a few areas where the scaffolds have been. Can you recommend a matching pointing mortar? Um, sounds like... 1930s, it'll be uh, lime mortar. I've never done it myself, but you can get white cement. So you mix up your four to one, but you use white cement. It's very expensive, but you can get it. I know some um, 
Charlie Collison using it on a, one of his site jobs. They use white cement. I've never actually used it. You can't get hold of it though. I've seen a lot of houses in Southport repointed in white. It dries very white. <laughs> Mum's keeping Gareth entertained anyway. <laughs> Stuart, you don't want to ignore Mum. <laughs> oh, Stuart, Stuart. Yeah. Mm. Your last video was awesome. How on earth did someone get away with the brickwork? Um, which video was that? that? Was that the house video? Let's find out. £16 a bag. Whoa. You better look good for that price. Jesus, that's like only four, four times the price. Have you seen the thumbnail for a like, video? No. <laughs> Looks like one of them crime interviews. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to get the angle of this one day. Oh, b and We've actually just done um, an interview with uh, Blue Circle Cement last week. A podcast. A podcast. We interviewed for a podcast. It's not out yet, though. We'll let everyone know when it's out. Um, basically, us two giving our life story. Good, good to listen to you when you're going to bed, because it'll put you asleep. <laughs> Stuart, stop sucking up to Christine. You can still come for Christmas dinner. £16 a bag. That's a lot. Minty Large, just remind us which video you mean. Does the house look the last? What was it before the house? <coughs> I don't know, I didn't pay attention when I looked. Have a look. So oh, garage conversion. So we've got the house, the garage conversion, the concrete. If you mean the house on site, um, basically anything goes. We've been told we're too neat, we need to speed up. So that's that's the uh, that's that's the quality you're after. Yeah, they only care about the um Ah, it's Sarah. More trouble. She's worse. <laughs> That's uh, Sarah's my daughter, Alex's sister. That's why she's sticking up for a mum. She wants a present for Christmas. That's why. Mm. Yes, yeah, where we cleaned out the cavity. Which we clean the cavity? Can't remember. You'd be surprised how many cavities is very dirty. <laughs> yeah. Trying to build my own extension. I'm building in blocks. What height should I do the lintels at? Two point one. Is that measured from the floor level to the existing house? Right. Um, you've got two main measurements, which is your DPC, which is your floor level. That never changes, and then your lintel height. And 2.1, that's right, isn't it? 2.128 courses. You can always follow your DPC and always follow your lentils. That's, that's like the golden rule. That's what you stick to. And your lintel height will be, um, I think it's nine course of block and one course of coursing bricks. But make sure you've got block under your lintel, not a coursing brick. So put your course, put a course of coursing bricks on top of your eighth course of block, then your ninth course of block. Then your lintels. That's the new rules. We found that out recently. Take it you have the radio on while working. What type of music do you enjoy the most? And is it dabbing? <laughs> it looks like dab, doesn't it? it looks, I hope it is. What type of music? Um, not Radio One. No. We we don't we don't enjoy the modern drivel. Yeah, and we don't like any radio station with adverts on it. So Radio Two, it is. Radio Q's I go to. It's mainly just for like the uh, classics, shall we say? It's just easy listening, isn't it? And I uh, can't find any heavy metal radio stations. No. Dad doesn't let me anywhere. No, he's not allowed his headphones on site, so he's got to stick, stick with Radio 2. I want a bit of um, Aberin 
Earth, Wind and Fire come on, I don't mind. No, it's all right. Bit of a pop master. Love when people can't remember stuff. I can't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> Look, Mum, your dad has a garden plan Sarah's put for 2023. I think we can block Sarah. Can we? Yeah. How long have you got left on your apprenticeship, Alex? Oh, I'm done. Yeah, he's done. He's finished there. in 20... So I did two, 2015, 16, 17. I finished in 2017. Yeah. He's done a... He's what you call an improver now. He's done his... He's learned, he's, it's like passing your test. You pass your test, then you learn to drive. Now it's all about just practice and getting the speed up and all the uh, techniques there. But it's just... I know it took me... I always used to really get anxious about being confident my confidence took years to to come through i'd always like shy away from doing the hard stuff but it's um it's the opposite now but alex isn't afraid to jump on anything difficult he, he won't do that he'll never go anything it's usually um like on the house build you're rushing so i'll jump in and get it done quick so it's done Whereas we should really leave out to do it and get his get the practice can't rush these things. Thank you, Gareth. Yeah, you can't rush these things, Mum and Sarah. <laughs> your garden isn't exactly immaculate either, Sarah. Mm. Yeah, send a picture of your garden, Sarah. What are your plans for next year, work-wise? We've got you've got a few things lined up, haven't you? Yeah, we've got um, an extension. No, not extension. Like an extension come conservatory, conservatory, which looks uh, looks really good. Looking forward to that one. Like I say, we're hoping for a year's. Um, this four bed detached to do and um, Neil the joiner said about he's, uh, he's pricing a job but it's a <clears throat> two story extension but it's a, basically putting a new a first floor on top of a garage so that'll be um, I should imagine it's test holes to look at the foundations of the garage to see if we can build straight off it that's, I that's all being looked at at the moment we have a barbecue coming up Barbecue and pizza oven. Yeah, it was. It's all once then building. Another big point in job in Southport. That's been waited till after Christmas. Um, garage conversion plus a steel to go inside, knocking through a living room and a dining room, I think. Maybe a retaining wall at where we've just done one of the garage conversions. Which one? The... Oh, yeah, the little patio. Yeah, not the, one we, not the last one, the one before. Yeah. The one a little... Yeah, like little, yeah. So then put the bins on. Yeah, a bin, a bin spot. We have a timber frame house. If we wanted an extension, would it need to be timber frame or could it be done in block? Um, I don't see any reason why it'd have to be timber frame. Yeah, as long as it's as long as it's tied in. Mm. Don't see why it couldn't be block. Yeah. Oh, that's our fault. She's getting blocked. <laughs> That's a point. We can get it. We can probably get that fence done next week. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Well, if she carries on like this. She's not getting it. Mm. She doesn't deserve it. She keeps being a, <laughs> a harassment. Trolling. Well, we came here to have a good time. <laughs> confidence after the same to my late thirties, but I still have low confidence moments. It's that. Well done for you. Oh, thank you. I'm not saying I don't rage. Half the time. <laughs> You've probably seen in the odd video, you'll see a bit of this every now and again. Yeah. Whoever's having a bad day gets the hug off the other. <laughs> and it always seems to be on site we have the bad days, doesn't it? Yeah. You go in with all these high hopes and you've got all these plans and then it's just... The digger driver, no, the uh, thoughtless broke. Oh, he has a temper. <laughs> Do you use plastic cabinetries or do you form them out of DPC? In West Wales, plastic ones seem to be very popular, but spoken to a few brails who don't use plastic ones. We use DPC, don't we? We do on um, when we're doing lintels, but I think it's on about the step ones. Oh, yeah. We use the plastic preform ones, which is strange because um, the amount of stick I get for not, put, not cutting cavity trays into the wall when I do the lintels. And these step cavity trays, they just sit against the internal skin. They're not tied in at all. So, and they're made for the job. We did a, we started on 
that last house, didn't we? But, but the other lads took over the plot. Yeah. So we put two in, and I think we did them wrong. Like I say, it's, it basically say, what's happening? How do we do this? And say, well, go and look at one of the other houses and for, copy that. So it's not it's not the best. Or you ask Colin and Paul. I did timber frames in the past, and we used to use DPC. You, you'd cut the breather paper, tuck the DPC underneath the breather paper, and then tack it back with staples, and then pull it on an angle so you had a so every tray dipped. And a really good cavity tray worked out as. Some days are just shit, but as long as you just pick yourself up and crack on. Yeah. I've said that to Alex a few times. All right, we're having a bad day. It's crap. But at the end of the day, we've got to finish this. So just get it finished and let's get home. And I've said that to you as well. Yeah. Yeah. What was Sarah Moore on about? Never. What's she on about? I have no idea. <laughs> I bet they're on FaceTime or something as well, just mm. talking to each other while they're conspiring. Yeah. Especially in this cold weather. Oh. Yeah. We haven't got it cold yet. We've just got it wet. It's not really been cold yet, has it? We've not even had a frost properly, have we? Well, I've been in the house all well. a few weeks. So <laughs> I've, I, we, had a, we, had a mass, we had a massive problem in our house and the builder suggested putting about three wheat poles along the pitch of the garage roof so that the water didn't have to travel from the top to the bottom. Hmm. That's the problem in our house. <sighs> cavity trays, step cavity trays over a roof are a nightmare. They really are. It, without seeing, it's hard to tell what that what could fix that. But it's such a hard job to fix cold in Norfolk. Yeah, it seems to be, uh, usually the south is a bit warmer than up here, but we've had it good lately. Yeah. Off, just get the air. When do we finish for Christmas? Well, ten... yeah, you finished about a week ago. I finished a week ago. We've, been, we've finished on site for, um, we've finished on site till after Christmas because we need to wait for the roof to go on before we can do all the, all the snagging. So, um, it's just like, I think it's just about finishing up this, uh, pointing job and that should be it, shouldn't it? I think so. Because there's nothing here done this extension yet. Now this... Are you not allowed to do that, I remember? I am. Oh. I've had the email to say we can. M12 coat. Fully waterproof. Plenty of pockets. Storm cuffs. So you're not getting cuffs at your arm. But best of all, oh, it's not in now. You put a 12 volt. You know when you the camera. You put a 12 volt battery in and you switch it on. You've got three heat settings and then you've got a pocket warmer. But um, I sat pointing the other day, it was cold. I had a heated coat on, it was absolutely brilliant. And then you just you have an adapter. It sits in his back pocket and you plug it in. And away you go. And your battery will give you a good eight hours on it. Mm -hmm. Gives you all day. So we'll move off your sense a few things last couple of weeks. Here's another little example. You sure we're allowed to be saying this? Yeah, yeah. you're allowed to show them. That's a um, lantern. This one you can turn on. Oh! <laughs> Directional it is as well. Um, so you can have it facing one way or you can have it like that. Same again, that's what the, uh, the coat runs on. The little two amp hour battery. But we've had uh, a few other bits as well, a few other lights and things. And a uh, multi tool, isn't it? Mm hmm. I've looked around for that light. <sighs> right, where are we? Oh, Stuart's got his phone back now, so Sarah's, uh, Sarah's not being. All right. There's uh, a light we've had. That's an 18 volt battery. Unfortunately, we haven't got the 18 volt battery, so we can't show that. Any tips for emptying a swimming pool that's on the concrete slab? Oh. <laughs> uh, stones? Remember that? Our sto bloody stones worked on our little swimming pool. 
Yeah, no, they just drained it away. Yeah. Concrete. They, they usually just brush it into the cavity, into the empty cavity, but if the walls are up, it's the good old spade into a bucket and out with the bucket. And when you get to the last bit of concrete, you just got to spade it. Yeah, oh, I remember that. It's a bit time consuming, but it is, it's, it's very effective. Looks like it's been freezing for everyone. Oh, yeah. Cold in Norfolk, cold in Cambridge. They're pretty close then, too. Yeah. Yeah. I've been giving my phone back now. <laughs> just put the kettle on. Mark's going to get one of those coats. Um, let's say get them, it's worth it just because. Absolutely. If you've, got, if you've got the Milwaukee stuff, you've got the batteries already, then they're well worth it. But it's like us with the Makita radio. Um, we went from Hitachi to Makita. And you couldn't just buy the radio, you need the battery. So it was cheap, it was cheaper for Alex and his mum to buy me the drill with the batteries and the charger to go with the radio. So we've got the Makita drill for the power. But we're also looking for... <laughs> so um, we've got a... We're going to get the... I think it's a skill saw, is it? Like a little circular saw, handheld. Because um, Derby Brickwork, we've seen them using it. And uh, Charlie Connison's the same. He's, he's, he's got a Dewalt one. But they've been using it for the rate cuts. And it cuts 50 mils, so you just straight through both sides. And you've got even nice, clean cuts. A lot quicker than trying to bash them with a, um, a bolster. I think it's 100 quid for a bare unit. And we've already got the battery, so we're definitely going to go for that. Any tips on lifting breeze blocks? I'm a level one brickie. Any tips? Um, carrying them, I'd use the, the you know the the grip. What's it called? Brick grabs Brick or grabs. whatever. We call them block grabs because we use them for blocks. Just set them for your block size and pick them up like a couple of suitcases. If you're using the heavy ones, if you're using the light ones, probably two together up on your shoulder. Bend, um, bend your knees. Yeah. Oh yeah, bend your knees. Don't use your back. Mm. You'll soon, once you're using them, you'll soon get used to picking them up one handed. And you trowel underneath and do it like that. Yeah. Going on Amazon for it. Well, I think a load of other companies are starting to bring out the heated jackets as well, aren't they? Milwaukee has been one of the first ones. Yeah, I saw a, I saw a Bosch one. On Bosch one there. So, it's probably the same coat, but they're just badged up different. Yeah. So, all, the, all the controls are the same. So just keep your eye out for whatever brand. It might, might be cheaper somewhere else. But uh, Martin, who comments in all our videos, he was, he's, he's, reti he's retired now and he, he can't believe that there's heated coats and he thinks we're all a bunch of sissies. <laughs> Works smart Martin, not holiday. Yeah. Evening, Kieran. Watched yours before. Did a bit of concrete in. Can't beat a bit of concrete in. They've got a fancy laser level, though. Uh, yeah. I was meant to be packing Friday until the old man caught wind of it now. I'm going for a couple of days on a fussing. Oh, good luck with that. We don't. We're not into fussings anymore, are we? No. We had the uh, QS on this site. Say, was it? Do you fancy doing a couple of foundations for us? I said, not really. He said, well, if you don't do a couple of foundations, you're going to run out of work. It's like, okay. okay. <laughs> Ring us up when there's another house. Then. Do you just do patios, or do you do patios, or just brick and block work? Um. No, we don't do patios. We'll be doing one out there. We're doing my own, but I, I hate flagging. The only flagging you really do is putting it back once you've moved one. Mm, I don't like doing that. No. I've done my mum's. Um, I've done my sister's. And we'll be doing our own, but I'd never take it on as a paid job because we're not, we're, not, we're not good enough. And my back, back's bad enough without messing around with flags. What's she about now? I don't know. <laughs> she's, she's like, she's like, what do you just pull the pole string? She just brings Something it on one line. Out. Yeah. We're we'll a couple of weeks off in the footing, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I think, I'm totally with you there. I think everybody agrees with that one. <laughs> it's a shame because the last one we did went bad, really. No, they weren't bad. Like, if they're done right, they're quite all right, but. Mm. Half the time they just weren't. Mm. The last ones we did were um, it would be the prefab beams. Yeah, 
So there's no footings. The beams are there and then the backfield is stone. So they are a doddle. And, and, it was, and they were decent if there weren't in, any internal walls. Like if it was just like the Wordsworth where it was just yeah. one wall or a Jenna with no wall. When are you finishing for Christmas? Um, I'm finished. Well, you're coming in for a day, aren't you? Yeah, I'm coming in for a day. I've but... not lined anything up after this pointing job. I've got a couple of patching jobs to do. I'll do them both in the one day. And then um, I'll probably just go through my jobs and see if I can get another couple of days next week. Up till... Uh, but we haven't planned anything. As far as site works con um, concerned, we broke up last week, didn't we? We were done last week on site. Yeah. You two are not very bright. Oh, I'm, I'm not reading that. <laughs> do you Do you have a... Wet silk on blocks, or do you just use really wet mix? Um, I've never wet them simply because it's hard work. If you're up on scaffold trying to get water up there, um, they are better when they're a bit damp, but we tend to just get, we tend to just, it's it's silo mix, so it tends, tends to come rock hard, doesn't it? Yeah. So we just, as we're filling buckets, we'll knock a bit of water through it and get it as wet as we can, but wetter the better for uh, for Salcons. Any suggestions for a vent to put on the outside of the house, a vent? which is connected to the extractor fan in the kitchen, basically had water coming in from the extractor, extractor, and I think the water is coming in from the vent and going down the, duct, the ducting. The ducting. ducting. Um, again, that shouldn't really happen. That the, the, the vent going out should be running down towards the outside. Um. Also, you can get the louver ones with the uh, the flaps that, when it's on, they'll open, but when it's when it's not on, they'll close over. They flap about in the wind a bit, but they do. They are pretty good. Gareth put. See, Ch see, Charlie has been watching you and filled a few weeks in my doing footings. A lot of your techniques have been used. That was um, I was made up when I saw that actually. He, um, where he, where we, you load the bricks on the actual wall. Yeah, that's um, not my idea. I can't take credit for that. But the the lads we used to work for, his name's Dave Denton. He had a he had three or four lads working for him, and we worked with him for a bit, and we picked a lot of things up from him. He's a good bricklayer. He's, he's a he's a little fella, but he's fast. And to watch him, it's it's mind boggling how fast he is. But he, to watch him, I think the more relaxed a bricklayer is, the more they're not tear arsing into it. Like Charlie, if you watch Charlie. He just flows. There's just a just a flow to him, and Dave's the same. And they they set they load everything on the inside. So basically, you're not doing this. You're just dropping it straight down. And so it's just with the footings as well. It's keeping everything out of the mud. So it's it's handy and it's keeping everything clean as well. So I'll come one block at a time down. Don't run the full bed on the wall. One block at a time. Down, don't run the poor bed. Yeah, that's true, Gareth. Just like just put the bed down for one block. Yeah, like Charlie does. Put a line of silicon in the vent pipe to stop the water. It's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wheat and bread. Hello. Good evening. Talking about footings, or are you missing them? Nope. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Especially this time of year. It's very rare we had it. we enjoyed our time on the footings, wasn't it? Yeah. And even if it rains here, if it's not raining too much, we can at least do something mm -hmm. with engineering break as soon as it started coming down at all. Yeah. No chance. Some of the times we'd be brushing and spading and for an hour and a half and then it it'd start again. So you go back in, have a brew, come back and you just start all over again. And you're not getting paid for pushing water around in circles for two hours. Very, very soul destroying that was. Yeah. <clears throat> what else have we got to talk about? Uh, I don't know. 
Daniel, you are. I'm just here. I'm, uh, I'm going to make a coffee, not like Charlie, you went to the toilet mid, mid, mid uh, live stream. Mid stream. Uh, not yet. I'm just uh, trying to entertain while while you're coffee. <laughs> Sat pricing while watching you as a welcome distraction. What's that? So he's, um, Gareth sat pricing pricing jobs were were a good distraction. Uh, the unpaid bit of work. Yeah. But the customers don't appreciate how, take, how long it takes. Yeah. Engineering bricks and the rain are a bit of a nightmare, but saying that Charlie's footings look a bit pleasant. Yeah, Charlie's footings look brilliant. Yeah. Like the, the drivers really care about the bricklayers, obviously. Oh, yeah, they went all stripped down and leveled out. And yeah. We never forgot that. No, we were bloody in the trenches of World War One. Yeah. Alex, are you still thinking of the learning? Yeah, I do want to do them. So we need my little learning videos, like the bricks, the, which way the bricks go yeah. and all that. And you, I've got, I've got all the ideas. It's just coming to do them, which I don't really have any excuses now because I'm not working at the moment. No. <laughs> and somebody's remembered. So now some more pressure to do them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, engineer. Yeah. Engineering bricks are god awful. They are, but when they're wet, they dry out quick, quicker than face brick. Oh yeah, when it's windy. Yeah. Oh, didn't Dad get any giveaways sorted? Did you not get any giveaways sorted? Of what? Gareth's asking to read. Did you get any giveaways sorted? Um, maybe twenty thousand to tell your friends to subscribe. <laughs> now hundred thousand. Put, put, oh, yeah, put, put, put the pressure on. Yeah. Oh, hello, Charlie. Mr. Collison's here, Dad. Who? Charlie Collison's here. Oh, he, he's making a coffee, <laughs> so come on, hurry up. Thanks for joining us. Take the numbers up a bit. Play with us while he, while he finishes his coffee. Tell him I like his merchandise that we saw today in the video. Hmm? Tell him I like that merchandise that we saw today in the video. Oh, he, like, he likes the merchandise uh, that we saw in the video. Good quality gear, that. Very nice quality gear, he said. Said make him a brew. <laughs> milk, milk and sugar. Where are you going? Take your mum. Oh. Let me, get his, let me get his bloody thing. Right, there we go. Oh, decent that. <laughs> Could give away the jacket. I don't think we plan on giving away that jacket. My God. Oh, Tim Hope is in a large. Yeah, they are in a large, I will say that. Oh, yeah, they are. Whew, they're very nice jackets. I think he's coming now. There you go. Oh, they dry them out. More tea, Vicar. <laughs> You've done it now. You've got to make everyone a brew. Yeah. That's funny, but everyone in our area is out to tea too quick. Now you need uh, the Scotch egg, don't you? Scotch egg, pork scratchings. Speed Demon is here, yeah. Yeah. I'll have to come up and do, my, do a day with you lads next year. Yeah, well, you're welcome. welcome. Absolutely. My speed is up a bit. I know, yeah. <laughs> it gives a kick up the arse. I meant to put in the comments with an night, Charlie, that trowel. That ding. I loved it. I think it's the uh, the rose trowel, the yellow handle. The, the sound it makes is just fantastic. 
Charlie Kemp and without a pop watch. Oh, well, there we go. Mum's already on it. Oh, she's at it already. You just got over a coffee as well. I know, yeah. With silicone, you can put an adhesive on the water to stop the water, additive on the water to stop getting sucked out, or you can glue the blocks with a dedicated yeah, glue. Yeah, I've seen that, the same joint stuff. I've seen uh, Rob Songer doing that. And then Jay Poyam, Poyam Brock, excuse my pronunciation, but he just. He does some amazing stuff over on that channel. He needs more subscribers. It's, it's a, he's an all-rounder. Good bricky. He's a does the old pick and dip out the tubs. And the, the house they're doing at the moment is just these uh, 300 by 65 mil, like blue engineering solid bricks, but with a, like a, a stone face on them with tiny, tiny beds. And it's a fantastic job they're making of it. No, it's not pegging dip, it's shit and dip. Shit and oh, dip. yeah, shit and dip, because he uh, uses a plunger, like, like a like a gun, but it's a big fat thing, and does the bed with the gun. And he's just like a, like doing a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and when he gets the air pockets in, it's farting. <laughs> oh, shit and dip, I forgot about that. I mean, we're talking about all crap we are picking dip, and we've missed a picking dips on the air. Uh... On the stream I know, now. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to talk about it from today. Well, you got you got to try it sometime, haven't you? You got to practice. Yeah. Yeah, I love Jay's work. Yeah, it's a shame you're not on. What time is it for? No, they're only an hour ahead. I think in Belgium. Oh, are they? <laughs> it's it's like. Charlie's trial is very pointed. You see Jay's trial, it's like a... It's, it's, weird. it's like a spoon almost. Yeah, very, very round, no point to it. It's just completely different, but same method. Yeah. His concrete skills are amazing too. Yeah. And and the, the rebar as well. And it's, it's just uh, just very entertaining. It's not just all brickwork, it's a bit of everything. And his, his attention to detail is spot on. And his health and safety is next to none. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's funny, that the stuff they do. That they, they'd just be arrested over here. Oh, man. And, but um, standard issue, put a crane up. It's just... Do you realise, don't be slugging off and picking dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for joining us, Charlie. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming on. See you in your next video. Yeah. The Dream Team. Time is it for us? We've been on fifty two minutes. Okay. Um, any questions, anybody? Anything else? Oh, might know. I have a few. That's right, that's the end of the stream. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Just go and take the iPad off. Oh, we'll do it in a minute. Quality work. Thank you, Dave. Jay's a clever bloke. I'm pretty sure he's got a solar panel degree as well. Do you get involved in roofs? Trying to think ahead with my lean to. Does the wall plate extend, extend into the cavity? Um... I haven't, um, sorry, I'll come back to you in a minute, Gareth. Um, it depends if you're having a soffit on the end and then the wall plate goes through and then your soffit and face are attached to it. Well, it all depends on how the roof's done. Usually we just do as we're told, whatever they're doing with the roof. It's not a standard thing with the roof. It's roof by roof. When do we get the Stephen Alex brick baseball caps? Well, if you want to buy one, I can. I haven't um, always done this t shirts and hoodies at the moment, but we can definitely put add on brick because I think that would look smart just on the hat. I think I want to redesign this as well. Have a big SNA on the back and this, like the small here, a bit of them steam outs on there. Because Andy, who did the, all the designs, showed us that original design where I just didn't know how to 
send that to Teespring to get it done. This is just my first effort. But we'll try other things and try and get maybe you can do a couple of novelty shirts. Got a few ideas. But um, let's see if we can sell more than three so far and maybe somebody else buy them instead of me. <laughs> would we be leaving sites if we had enough work? Oh, yeah, I think we would. Tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. It's a. Uh, it's not nice working for people who don't give a toss about you. No. I still haven't been paid for the two days where we did the garage. They just said, oh, it's been booked. It's already been booked, so you're not getting anything for that. So we did two days for nothing. And nothing came about it when we no. asked about it. Text the uh, QS, never got anything back. And um, even the booking in's awkward, the way they word it. and it's, it's Everything's against you. Nothing's made easy for you. It's if the job isn't hard enough. Basically, you just get. And with this, um, that last video, they've done away with the whole lift of scaffold. I don't know if I explained it well in the video, but we took over from the first lift, didn't we? Yeah. So then you take it up to joist. Yep, to joist. Get it all level around to joist. But then you have to go past five courses with the face work. So you're above the joist level then. And then scaffold goes up again. And the joiners have to get all the joists over the top of the brickwork and manage to smash the corner of the brickwork. Yeah. So then instead of you just being filling like that off the scaffold, you're now up on the top, on your knees, being filling from above. And then the next lift is okay. But then the next one, you've got to, they want us to reach 29 courses off the top lift and plus build the cobbles there, that far above your Even head. Even higher up. Yeah, you're trying to build cobbles up there. So then you start using hop-ups, which you don't get paid for. And it's a health and safety courses on hop ups, we get done for that. But it's apparently it's saving one point two million pounds not having this lift of scaffold. Well we got we got done having step ladders up to get into the inside on on this site. Yeah. We got told off for having step ladders to get into the thing because it wasn't safe. But what is safe is climbing up on the brickwork and possibly just falling off. Yeah. Instead of having a, a step ladder. Working in. off a wobbly hop up. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't, there wasn't even a hop up to get in there, remember? We had to climb on the bricks to get into the yeah. inside. Or if you join a climb on the cobbles just after they've been built and destroyed yeah. them. The SNA logo, great job. Well, we can't take any credit. <laughs> I, what was that? Off Wheat and Bread, the SNA logo is great. Well, we are, we can't take any credit because um, we designed one and then when you showed it to him, it was like, no. <laughs> oh, we had one drawn out. I've been, I've been thinking about this for so long and then um, trying different things. And then so we, we came up with one between us. Showed it to Andy and went, what do you think? He went, um, I, I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't do it. So basically, ours looked absolutely nothing like that. Ours was like... Bricks and trowels. And bricks, two trowels, and then like brick playing with Steve and Alex on it. Yeah. And then everything just went. But mm. but I like what we got. Yeah. And we were trying to get down to BWSAA because it's shorter. And he said, I get rid of that. It's just confusing. So we came up with that. So all the videos that we had in the past where it's like trying to shrink it down, BWSAA. Now it's yeah. not that's not relevant anymore. And the intros I've been doing in the outros, I've had that software for ages, but you've always had to have a logo to make it work properly. So now we've got a proper logo. The beginning is better now with the uh, the new one that's been on the last couple of videos. It's so much better with a proper logo to work with. We made our own brick trial. What about our own trial? What was that? We've made our own brick tongues, but not our own trial. Well, we can't really make our own trial, can we? I wouldn't. I wouldn't stand the the physics behind it. To be honest, just a cash grab as well, isn't it? Really mm. blatant. Yeah. <laughs> With the brick tongs, it's simply just to make it easier to move whole bricks. Yeah. And there's so many there's so many trials out there, and so many people prefer different types of trials. It's a bit of a nightmare, really. And the brick tongs, we're trying to simplify the design because I think it's thirty pairs are made, and the amount we sold them for compared to the amount of time it spent, I spent buying the stuff cutting it, fabricating it, painting the welding. I pr we probably never made any money on them whatsoever. They're great things, but we need to simplify the... I'm trying to... I'd like to make them adjustable so that you can... Not all bricks are the same. The holes, like... The engineering bricks we're using with 10 holes, they wouldn't fit through two, so we had to use to slot one side through the middle. But it's adjustable, obviously. You can fit any, any bricks with, as long as they're perforated. But that's, that'd be the ideal thing. And just simplify less welds, more bends, less welds. Any advice on <coughs> any advice on plastering and how to get a job into it? 
we don't really have any idea to be honest about no, plasterers. No, um, I know plastering's hard work. I think it's probably harder than bricklaying. I wouldn't like to do plastering because you're inside in the hot days and trying to do the plastering when it's going off. If you want to be a plasterer, then probably like best pay, probably best looking into it. Maybe like college. Yeah, going to a college and asking there, seeing. Where are we at? Where are we at? Wheat and bread. Wheat and bread. The thing about domestic work is you have to do more than bricklaying to keep busy, as I have learned, but better than site work. There's only a number at the end of the day. Yeah. A very low number as well. Yeah. Yeah. Build a saving money at work is struggling as always. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, because they said, they said it was to uh, help the uh, the roofers. No, it, it, it's blatantly not. They blatantly just want to save money. Oh yeah, the um, it's it's to make the scaffold safer for the joiners, and the joiners hate it, and it's um, to make sure it's right for the roofers. So the roofers are on there for a day, the joiners are on there for a day. We're probably on there for three weeks, but it doesn't matter as long as the joiners and the roofers are okay. So the bricklayers and the joiners are okay; they don't like it. Mm-hmm. No, no, and one of the uh, one of the gangs on our site had a. I had a complaint about it because everyone's been doing it for the first time and then basically got told if you don't like it, F off. That's the that's the that's attitude. What, that's what we're against. Yeah. Yeah. Always cut your dirt off clean, cleanly, guys. Oh, yeah. Cut it off so you can reuse it. Yeah. I've seen people just cut it off straight on the floor and it just gets a, oh, it's just a mess. Well, the, the, the builders, we were, the bricklayers we, we were working with, they, they, they don't Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth. Well, that's all I do is run a Facebook page on my jobs and family shared at the beginning, then word of mouth from there. It's sorting your own work out isn't as easy as it looks, but so much more freedom. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot more work when you get home after work, but um, it's a lot more rewarding as well. And you're appreciated by your customers because you want to one with your customers. Yeah. Oh, I almost read that out. <laughs> <laughs> Blip the site work and do, go do what you do best. Mm. Oh, we, we would if we could. We, we've, uh, he's, he's, he's got vans to pay for. Mm. Oh, Mum complaining about the windows. Mark, I haven't tried his brick tongues out yet. Oh, you love them when you get going with the Mark. They really are good. Run like clockwork. Mum can complain again. Which type of trials do we prefer? Philadelphia. Yeah. Last time I had a London pattern, I was um, I wasn't even an apprentice. It was before I started my apprenticeship when I was on YTS, and you bought this little blue bag with all your basics in it, and it was a probably a ten inch London pattern, very very narrow. And then um, I remember seeing a, a bricklayer called Mick using an eleven inch Philadelphia. I thought it looked like a spade. But then even that, I was still on the WHS for a long time. But that was when they were good. Spear and Jackson WHS, like the one Charlie got with it engraved in the blade. When it was, and I always remember David Garner's in Skem saying, the steel isn't the same anymore. He said, it's cheap steel. You can tell they've changed it. And the engraving disappeared. And basically, they, they went downhill from there. Same as uh, Marshalltown. Marshalltown don't last long enough for the price. That's why I use the ox, because it's it's comparable in quality but so much cheaper what do we prefer laying block or brick a bit of both a bit of both yeah mm. well, laying bricks is obviously easier because it's just it's not as heavy but like when you when you've done like a full wall of block it's done really quickly and it looks like you've done a lot yeah so especially if the cell comes we did like them um, doing the garages on our old on the foundations because uh, we did them flat so we used to really throw them in. They were really good. A lot of more time, but uh, fun to do. Sorry about the F word. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Wait, we can re- I, I'm, just, I'm just not allowed to say it. <laughs> I say it plenty of times out of the house. Mm, mumble it under your breath. Depends on how bad the job is. <laughs> is that Russian? I think so. It looks Russian. I can't read that, but... Hi, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, Mum? What? Oh, Mum's iPad's quiet. died. iPad's died. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Before I leave, Charlie Thompson, I'll see you Compton. <laughs> Would you prefer to leave Lockwood Brick before I leave, Charlie Thompson, I'll see you Compton? Charlie Connison? He's the man. Oh, yeah. Hello from Oxford, buddy's insight. Hello. Hello, in Oxford. Down, down, way down there in Oxford. And if you are going, thanks for joining us, Dino. Rob's longer before any of them. They, oh, yeah. I don't think anybody thinks they're better than Rob Songer. He's, he's just, he's so unassuming and just, he's just, he's just a genius. He's just, a, a, he's, he's above, he's above craftsman. He's just, uh, it's just mind boggling the stuff he does and the patience he has. Like, like the chimneys he does, it's just insane. It's just everything. The apple, a, the apple basket. The apple basket and the, uh, the, the, the stairs. Is just, I remember seeing that bit by bit and just, I mean, I mean, just great. He does the kind of work that you see from like hundreds of years ago when you think, how the hell was that done? Mm. You know, how Rob Sander does it. Yeah. <clears throat> Steve and Alex, enjoy your videos. Great content. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks, Dean. I know I've been watching for a while. Thanks for the vids and the bands. Oh, well, thank you for thanks, being a Mr. watcher. Thanks, Mr. Moon Man. I recognise that. I, rec I was moon recognise the guitar. <laughs> Have a good night, boys. Love your content. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by as well. Cheers, Dino. Who's on Warzone, Warzone tonight? Oh, well, I can't stand Warzone. I'm good at zombies, but not Warzone. It's um, Call of Duty. I assume, I assume anyway. <laughs> Rob Songer for skill set, Charlie for price work, Stu for part time bricklaying. <laughs> Rob Songer is the god of bricklaying. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Yeah. And uh, I can't, what's his name? The lad who works with him. I can never remember his name, but he's obviously he's he's learning off the best. Yeah. Oh, he's translated <coughs> for us. Hello from Charkov. Ah, hello. Hello. Oh, we've got, we got people in Russia. Yeah. I can say goodbye in Russia, Russian, but I can't say hello. Let me find out what hello is just to be, just to be polite. Make sure it's not a swear word. I, I, I know how to swear in Russian. Google. Harley. Yeah, that's the one, Harley. Google Translate. You never see him in the videos, but he's, uh, he's, he's definitely a man. Got a bit of a shadow off that light, haven't you? <clears throat> okay, I was going to try and say hello in Russian, but I don't think I can say that. No. <laughs> <clears throat> Best place, just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey as well. Charkov is in Ukraine. <laughs> It's not in Russia, it's in Ukraine. Yeah. Well, he understands us. Yeah, uh, thank uh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Jack Turner, Mikey as well. Is he another one who works for Rob or Charlie? It could be. <clears throat> what other news have we got? We don't have any news. <laughs> Mikey, yeah. Oh, Mikey? Yeah. Give me guys for watching your videos for well over a year. Oh, wow. Love well, every single one. Keep up the great work. James from Edinburgh. Well, thank you, James from Edinburgh. Cheers, James. It's always nice to hear that people enjoy the videos. You work for Rob. Uh, ah, okay. Mikey. I think Mikey might be the labourer. Wait for my next Spiral Arch video. Oh, keep an eye out for that. How far is your coverage area? Um, it's quite small at the moment, as we've um, we've just finished travelling. I spent the last ten years travelling a long way, so um, we don't really go that far out. Probably, I'd say Southport's probably the furthest, which is about fifteen miles, maybe. I don't really like going any further than that. But like I say. We're working, we were doing 260 miles a week, so we're in the van for like 
most of the day. 10 hours a week. It's just getting up at 20 past five, traveling 10 hours a week. In this, in this, now I think it's a, it's two and a half miles to work and two miles back. No, it's two miles to work, one and a half miles back. And sometimes we're coming home in the in the in the light still. In the daylight, yeah. And I thought the wicked have stopped the slate work, but he's getting poor treatment and the build time for, for, for the plots is ridiculous. Doing private so much happier good luck words. Definitely Dean. Hit the nail on the head. Yeah. I went to try and get on another site locally and it's a timber frame. And he said, um, we've got plenty of foundations. He said, no, I'm, I'm leaving the foundations. I want to get onto the structures, onto the super, supers. You know, all right, we've got loads of them to do. He said, but we're bringing our own gangs in at the moment. He says, but uh, we need each plot up in 10 days. And these are big, big detached houses. He said, every plot's got to be up in 10 days. Which, um, not a chance for us to. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good mason so thank you very thank much thank you very much Brit Wright building and landscaping hi guys hi hello thanks for joining us Ethan I am in Whitworth north of Rochdale a bit too far for you then which is a shame because we really like your work oh thank you yeah that's a shame that, that's um, we were up at um, if you're up at Rochdale you know guide that's where we were if you go on the M65, you can actually see the Wayne Holmes flags because it's the, the houses back onto the embankment. So as you're coming up the hill, up the hill from Blackburn, uh, you've got the turn off for guide and then you can see the blue flags. Ooh. That's the site we were on there. Um, and that's one of the closest ones. We were, before that, we were across the other side of Blackburn. We've been up in uh, Poulton, the Sands, Poulton, the Fylde. That was 80 mile round trip. Oh, yeah. So um, we've, we've, done, uh, we've done enough travelling. That was my first proper site, Polton. Yeah. Just like my own YouTube channel, love the videos, great stuff. For inspiration, keep up going, great videos. Thanks very much. You'll enjoy doing the YouTube. If he can do the, if he can edit the videos together, you can do it too. Oh, I couldn't even switch the Mac on. I got him. I got the Mac. Look, look, look how much trouble we are trying to get this set up. Yeah. Yeah. Tried the acro props. Trick was upstairs, little worked fine once, got a good fix into the brickwork bottom plate. Prop. Yeah, it's definitely a good one. That what I did when I got stuck, if there's a window frame in the way, like a sill, I put the uh, strong boys at the bottom so you can take your, you just got an extra bit so you're not trying to slot the acro into the wall. And uh, that worked a treat. Yeah, I totally understand. I'm in telecoms, fed up with traveling to London every Monday and living out. Oh, of no. premier ends. Oh, not for us that. Super subways are too greedy as well. Five hundred thousand is, is you know, all or nothing for extra. Yeah, you read that. So I just read that. That's what we're on now, and we're, that's not through a subby. That's direct. So imagine what it'd be through a subby. Prices are poor. I think it's fourteen fifty for block. Um. And that's all you get. You say, I've done this, that, and the other. It's all in. It's all in. It's all in the price. Well, as well in the garages, like, it, the garages that are attached are all priced, and they don't take into account if the garage sticks out. There's, like, yeah. all that extra brickwork in the corner <clears throat> that they don't even account for. No. They have a price for a garage, a detached or an attached, but not if it's stepped back. So you've come off the back of the house, then it returns, and then the back of the garage. So you've got that return. There's probably a couple of hundred bricks in that, but they don't allow for that. So you're doing 200 bricks. And there's even a bit of a pike in there as well, so you're filling them up with a pike at the yeah. top and it's just not counting for it. Yeah. He's going to bed. I wish you good health and happiness. Thank you. And, and Thanks you for too. joining us, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what's the most enjoyable thing about your bricklaying and what really annoys you? You missed Mark out. Oh, have I? Yeah. yeah that was a good... Oh, just about the outro. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that just that just came to me driving to work one day, and it's a uh, I've used it a couple of times since. So 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 what do we enjoy? Oh, and hello, Andrea from Italy. Hello. So I think I think one of the most satisfying things is when you finished it and you get to look back and there's what you've done, whether it be like a little fancy garden wall or a bloody house or a picture of the house on on Instagram. I've got a picture of the new one. 
Well, it's not finished, is it? No. Yeah. Is the roof on it yet? No. The satisfaction of seeing it finished is definitely one of them. Mainly because, well, that's one of the reasons I wanted to be a bricklayer because I love, I love Lego. And uh, when you, it's like when when you've built a bloody Death Star that's taking taking you a week to build, that's like that is satisfying to look at to finish. Brickling is just that on a grander scale, and a lot more people can uh, appreciate it. Where are we from? We're UK. There you go. There's there's our first superstructure. We'll plug our Instagram as well. Go and check it out. Yeah. So that's Alex's first house. When I, I kept putting that, and people kept thinking it was Alex's first house to live in, but now it's the first house he's ever built. <clears throat> uh, ever done any... Oh, wait. 600 per thousand and 15 on block, roughly around Cambridgeshire. Wow. That's a lot better than up here. We're <laughs> well, getting 550 in the foundations for face work, and we're getting 18 for trench. And... 1650, I think, for four inch, but they were seven Newton block. But we were, uh, the foundations they paid well, they just did us in because we used to get paid 250 event, 250 lintel over the vents, 40 quid to set out, even if there was nails. So it all added up. Have, have, you, have, you, bleh, bleh. Um, have you done any stonework? Um, yeah, in the past, hate it. I think uh, the closest thing to stonework I've done is just these stone bricks. Yeah. That's the closest I've done. I've done random and course stonework and me apprenticeship, I did a lot of it. We did a barn conversion. And then um, stonework, you, you can't be fussy. I was always told if you pick it up, put it in the wall, don't pick it up. And, and, and I'm too fussy like that. What was that? Oh, uh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I think I think this Andrew is new to this channel. What is this? <laughs> it's a bricklayer's live stream. What are we reading about? Um, not nothing. <laughs> Hi Steve, have you ever considered working day rate with a big company, steady money, and doing your private work at weekends? Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, especially something with the pension attached. <laughs> It'd be nice to be cards in. I've not been cards in since pretty old. Sarah is Sarah now twenty eight. I just found her up to thirty. Yeah, I'm twenty eight. So I think last time I was at Cards Inn was before my daughter was born. She's twenty eight. So I've been slogging it out for twenty eight years. Best job in the world being a brickie. I'll ask you that again on a really <laughs> cold and wet day when you can't work. Thanks <laughs> for many, Alex. Yeah, well, I've done my second one, kind of. Yeah. One of one and three quarter houses I've done. Yeah. Did my apprenticeship on a site now after first lockdown. I went with a general builder. What's the easiest way to get back into site work? Um, site work is not as easy to get into as you think. You, you need to you need to ask around. It's it's more who you know. Yeah. Charlie Collison's always looking for lads. If you if you know if you're close by. You'd be a great lad. You'd be great to learn off as well. But it's um, it's not been easy finding site work, has it? No, because the site that we're on, we approached there a while ago, and they yeah. said we we can't take you on. It took us two or three attempts, didn't it? Yeah, it took us a long time to get onto a new site. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we at? Be your own boss. Site work sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice delete <laughs> mistake. That's what I deleted in Animal Rights Activist. What was that? No, I'm just saying that's what I deleted. Look. All right. I was tempted to go get my beef out of the fridge. <laughs> Be your own boss. Like work sucks. So yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. We made that. So it's told. <laughs> mistake. <laughs> 35 years in, lads, still think it's the best job in the world. Yeah, same here, 35. 85, I left school and went onto the YTS to be a joiner. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> I would butcher. And I'm going to eat two burgers for tea. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put? Stop eating animals. Oh, is that going to be the Big Lane channel? I know, yeah. That's better. If anybody watches um, See the Wheel Through Adam's Eyes, he's funny because it... 
his, his day revolves around break time and dinner time. Are you sure? And he has roast beef with <laughs> horseradish mayonnaise every day, loves it. So that'd be a good one for him to watch. Uh, seeing the world through Adam's eyes, the happiest Brick Lane channel on YouTube. You want to check that one out? The Tricky Brickies. Very true, Steve. If you pick a piece of stone up, you should use it. Mm. Adam is a happy chappy. He certainly is. <laughs> Adam is hilarious, yeah. You haven't seen him yet, have you? No, not yet. He does the live stream on a Sunday. Right. <laughs> I to unsubscribe, his life is just too much. <laughs> boom, he does that a lot as well. Does he? When he finishes, he goes, boom. <laughs> it does a PewDiePie bro fest. Yeah. He's a character, but he's, he's funny. He's, he's a... You're never even moaning. He just gets on with it. Whatever whatever the day throws at him, he just keeps it just keeps happy. He must have to do a lot of editing then. Mm. Edit out any like I said tonight, I said he needs to be on a radio too, doing the pause for thought in the morning to get everyone set up for the day. Yeah. Get everyone happy for the day. Well he's a good relay too. Yeah. He's good, yeah, they they, they work in a gang. <laughs> so he does. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more laughing in this channel than we do than ours. <laughs> I think this is the most we've ever laughed on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> Adam is the new Mr. Motivation. He certainly is. I uh, watched him after me van breaking down. He cheered me up no end. I'll have to start watching him then after yeah. most days. Yeah. God, spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Five past nine, so we might have to wrap up in a minute. But we'll get we'll go to a, an hour and a half. Okay. We'll stop an hour and a half, so we'll have another eight minutes. See what uh, see what else, anything else anyone has to say. Don't know if you sell you to a great company. company. <laughs> That's because we don't talk on our videos, we time lapse. Yeah. <laughs> we talk a bit now. You do. I've fixed the microphone as well now, so I don't mumble anymore. I don't mumble if you can understand what I'm saying yeah. now. Good, honest people. Mm. <laughs> like you said, we just try our best. We only started doing videos because we had to do it for my college. Yeah. I had to, I had to get video evidence for um, college. Good night, God bless. Going to walk the dog. He's got a lead. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the uh, biggest See you dreams. in bed. See you Friday. Yeah. Good luck as well, walking at nine o'clock. Collinson's good, don't wait. They're 600 an hour. Videos give the wrong impressions, but he's, his setup is... Um, oh, I need to read again. Very true, Dean, yeah. It's all about... I always say that the way he works, there's no... It looks like there's no effort going into it, it just flows. It just it's hard to describe but it's, it's it's just good what's your thoughts on apprenticeships um, they're not as good as they used to be and I believe you get penalised for having apprentices now rather than um, a grant I think I got 1500 quid for him for his whole apprenticeship for everything and you just get one lump sum and I think it took us about 18 months to get that so um Obviously, it's it's all fast track now, isn't it? When I when I did it, it was three years, and we skipped a year as well. And then we did a we did year we skipped year one, did year two, and did our advanced. Me and another lad called Mike, and we got taken on by the builder, luckily. But um, we, we did a lot of college work day release. We'd spend a whole day in college, and the rest of the week at work, and then we'd go and do two hours night night classes doing uh, and the, the full day was nine till six or seven at night as well it was a long day and so we, we did learn a lot and Alex was lucky because he was the only apprentice in his class so Paul the, his tutor basically took Alex under his wing and had plenty of time for him so what I couldn't teach Alex on site Paul was giving him getting the basics sorted at college so it worked really well yeah and then uh, because 
because Alex was basically the only one to do it. Alex put Paul enjoyed teaching Alex and he could spend more time with him. Because if someone wants to learn, then you want to teach them. If they're not interested, then you're not interested in giving you time to them. There's plenty of those in Alex's class. Not as good as they used to be. Other boys, such a shame. I did YTS 1989. Not the same now. Such a shame for the young lads. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was a YTS 1986. And I bet if you did YTS in 89, I bet they didn't go much longer than that. I think we packed it in a bit after that. We spent most of our time in college learning a lot of health and safety stuff, like a ridiculous amount, which like half of it is just common sense. And like, but oh, by God, some of the key people in my class were that thick headed. <laughs> oh my God. It was, it was painful. But um, yeah, we, we, we did a few practical lessons. We did a load of practical lessons. Like we, I remember first day we did like barbecues and then we, we did like uh, the first lift of a house with like Victorian bays and everything. But like a load of times we just spent doing health and safety, like way too long. Yes. Yeah. So a load you, of stuff that like, the stuff that you get told on site and that it's like, it's just, it's common sense. Like don't, don't be an asshole on site. Mm. Gareth Hope. Drip fed a couple hundred here and there. Have to pay them all year round, but didn't get much funding as it was just me and the company. More money, the bigger the company. Mm. There's no incentives there to, to take apprentices on. It, you know, it, it's got to be worth your while because as, as Charlie says, when you're teaching someone, you're losing money. You're putting money in. You're putting your money into their training. And it's not until they get a bit quicker that they start earning your money for you. And then... Um, it's, it's hard, really. Not many young lads coming into our game now. Average age is the same as me and you, Steve. Me, young lads would rather sell weed than work. Yeah. Very true. Very or, smoke, true. or smoking on the scaffold like it pulls it. What was it called? What was that site over there? You could smell him all day long. And on this site as well that we're on. Mm. And, on and on this site as well. On this yeah, site that's was... not the people who are working there. That's the people around the footpaths. But this site was actually one of the bricklayers. Yeah, I remember, yeah. I think Smoking it, was, it all day long. I think it was Polton, yeah. Yeah. And like, I don't get how we deal and get fired either. No. What close did I go to? I went to West Lanks in... I went to West Lanks Construction Academy, which when I went was its own separate building, like away from the college, but... It was great. Yeah, now it's like... It's next to the college, and it's like, ooh, it is much worse. I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't get to see that. It's a metal merchants now. Yeah, it's a metal. Yeah, like to put it into perspective, the set, like the size of what we had, there was like loads of different rooms, like massive. You had a corridor. As you went down this big corridor, probably about twelve foot wide corridor, block walls each side, with doors going off the corridor, and then you had these massive rooms. For yeah, all, for each trade, massive rooms, and then when um, and then when uh, all the the construction tutors got shown the blueprints, the drawings for the um, the whole thing, they said, "Oh, is this the uh, joiners room?" I said, "No, that's the whole thing." And they're like, "What?" I can't believe it. The, the room they, had, they went from and two was just ridiculous. Like Twelve, oh, so much smaller than what it was. Yeah, we, you and me went there, didn't we? Because we had to go yeah, see Paul. I think he's left now, isn't he? Oh, he left ages ago now. Yeah. yeah. Love teaching brickworks and sharing skills while well, young lads want to know things before they've tried. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, James, he's heading off now up early. See you later. You have a good Christmas too. See you, James. All the best, pal. Thanks for tuning in. Do you have a favourite glove? Yes, my left one. <laughs> no, we use a... We use all sorts. Port West or Click. We get them in bulk from... Um... Best work were on the internet. They're about 80, 90 pence a pair, but they last a couple of weeks. They do, they do the job. Yeah. Obviously not as good as they used to be. No. We used to have, well, used to have the red ones, didn't we, that were yeah. last months. The, the Milwaukee ones are good as well. I'll wait for my son to start making money. <laughs> the good time for all. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do when you retire. I think I might retire with you. <laughs> Left school 15 hard three years, then picked up a trial. Learned that I went better than college. That's true. Yeah.
as long as you've got someone else who's got the time to teach you. No place to learn it like on site either. Mm. <laughs> well, so college, I went to um, Wigan Tech, which is still going. Um, I almost went there. Yeah. Would have just been hard for you getting there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wigan Tech was a really good college. It's got a good name. Um, it used to be the, the, it used to be in a, a, um, a bit of building called Library Street, and it's a I think it still has a coat of arms. It's a Brick Lane College, isn't it? Yeah. But then that stopped, and they turned the Library Street complex into the Town Hall at Wigan, and moved into like an old warehouse when we were there. And then once we'd left, they built a brand new college from scratch in the grounds of the the warehouse, and they did away with the where we did night school, that was got rid of everything. It was all taken in one place. We should be walking up and down the length of Wigan every day, walking backwards and forwards to different places. An hour and a half. Um, let's just see if anyone's got anything else to ask. Final call. <laughs> we did an hour and 50, 50 minutes last time. Did we? Yeah. Love college, loads of us. <laughs> and uh, it was all stupid, thick-headed blokes in my <laughs> college. No, no, no offense if any of them are watching this. Doubt they are because none of them were there to break light. They were there because they failed all the bloody exams, and that was the only place they could go. That's very true, Dean. I know. I know. Scam College struggles to fill the places every year. Can you build a big wall at Dover? <laughs> Bit of a trek for us, Dover. But we'll be up for it otherwise. I went to the wrong one then. <laughs> well, the only, the main reason I went to that college is because it was close to home. Yeah. Convenience just to get home quick. Yeah. And it was good when you started there and it just went down the nick like everything else. Yeah. When you talk to the tutors, it's, it's education. It's all, it's, it's a lot of just BS behind the scenes. It's not about how well the students learn it's about hitting targets and stuff like that it's just there's, there's so many people all the people who taught Alex have all gone they've all left we missed any out I don't think so <sighs> excuse me My son just starting, he's loving it. Good. Excellent. I take it he's on the trowel then. Well, thanks for joining us, Gareth. Yeah, and thank you for your generous donation as well. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. That's always nice. Couldn't talk him out of it. <laughs> I said, I was exactly like you. Yeah. Plumber electrician, I said, but he's having none of it. He said, but if, it, if I'm plural electrician, I can kill people what, if, if I make a mistake. Yeah. That was his way. You're a dying breed of grafters. Good to see you on that. That's a great look. You must be proud. Uh, Very. I am. Good. <laughs> Do anything besides building? Um. I was a UK BMX champion when I was 15. That's about it, really. Shame you don't have your trophies nearby. I know. You have flexi trophies. Yeah. I was a novice, novice under 15s champion for the whole of England. And then I broke my wrist, and that was the end of that. And that's it, really. Is, yeah. that why you, is that why you sometimes do that with your wrist? Because you're knackered it? No, that's right. That's me and goes numb. Oh. No, that's it. That, that's the one I broke. Oh. In Birmingham. Can't put me to shame here. <laughs> 15 hours there just playing playing Minecraft and you, you're champion <laughs> novice of, of England. The other big thing I do now is obviously the YouTube channel, which is takes up a lot of time, but it's 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 good. It's good fun. Um back. 
Oh no. No, it is time to end the stream now. Mm. The battery must have been charged. We've actually got more than we started. Yeah. That's why I don't want to spin now. <laughs> more people join the music when we stop. Yeah, there's a question for everybody else who's in. Just let us know where everyone's from. If you hang on to them, it could be carbon yeah, coming. Mm -hmm. I think as a bricklayer, one should diversify and do more than just bricklaying. You can do a whole private extension. Yeah, that's true. But, um, I don't, I don't want do, to kill anyone. We do the digs, the foundations, the digs, the concrete, the foundations, the brickwork and the slab. And I know plenty of joiners who can do the rest. We can, we can Between us, we can do the whole job. I'm not confident doing things like roofs and stuff like that. I'd, I'd rather leave it to people who know what they're doing. And I'd, I'd, I'd probably, the way, I'm, um, the way I get prices wrong, I'd, pr I'd probably end up working for nothing if I did that kind of thing. I generally do work with a few lads and it's their job. We'll come and do the superstructure for them and then they'll organise everything else. It's a lot easier as well, just organising what I know. Brian's from Chester, Tim's from Portsmouth, Nick is from Stratford. John's from Bolton. Bolton. We worked up in Bolton, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, what was it called? Bolton used to call it. It was just a bowl for rain. Mm. <laughs> Yorkshire, you know, it's, it is the best. <laughs> Dean's from Stoke. Stoke. We like Stoke because Alton Towers is near Stoke. Our little favourite part. We take our pilgrimage to Stoke every year. Yeah, Chester's not far from us. Bolton. Where was it in Bolton? It was just off Charlie New Road and we were there. I can't remember what the site was called. But we were there for about 12 months doing foundations up there. Oh, really excuse me. Do you do carpentry and bricklaying? You're set to go. Yeah. Stick to what you're best at. Mm -hmm. Shame those lightweight blocks aren't available down south. The trench block or the, uh, the I think the trench block you mean. They are good. Gareth's from good. Norwich. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Norwich is um, Rob Songers and Domain. Uh, Tim. You know Tim Margerson? Yeah. He's from down there too. Yeah. Do you know that nail gun came a long way? It did. I was good at geography as well. <laughs> it's just grammar. You can go good at. Oh, shut up, Mum. <laughs> Mum's pulling faces at me. I bet you, I bet you would have read it as Norwich as well, Mum. <laughs> just a few miles down the road. Fiber lights. Oh, yeah. Shame you don't get... If you can't get... I think they made... Uh, I think they're in... Um, Chester area. I think that's where they come from. What is the farthest you would travel to work? 15 miles tops. That's reluctantly. Nowhere at the moment because your hand broke. No. Uh, Neil, the joiner we work with, um, his van is five years old and it's done 23,000 miles because he gets that much work on his doorstep. He doesn't need to travel anywhere. It's funny when, you, when you're working down his street, everyone who drives past waves him because everyone knows him. And he gets so much work just on his estate. Everybody knows him, and he's, he's, he's just he got such a good, good name. And he's, he's, he's just, he doesn't need to go out of the town. It's very rare he goes out of town. Good luck with the van fix. <sighs> I've got to get to the garage first. I don't know I'm going to do that. It takes two hands to get it in gear, so I don't know when to get it into gear. I can't drive just yet, so no. I can't pedal for it. Can't, can't but, uh, tow it. Every time I've tried, every time I've tried to drive, something stopped me. Yeah. Now it's COVID. Yeah. So twenty 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 one will be my will be my year. Is Mark still here? If you are, Mark, what's the truck? How's the truck going? Does Neil do gardens or porches? She's gonna get blocked in a minute. 
had to build the outside out of seven newton hard work lugging them all through oh, four courses so far not looking forward to building up further oh seven newtons not fun we know what that's like now doing that pike yeah we used to just put them, build them up to waist heights but now because um we got to do a pike out of them so we were up here with them on hop ups again dangerous hop ups Love working close to home, but leaving work at 7.30. Yeah, leaving for work. I will leave them for work at 7.30. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. But especially on here. Yeah. We left well, like five minutes, well, ten minutes before site opened. Yeah. We, we, when we first left the foundations and started on this, for this builder, we were actually on our estate where we live. We originally tried to get on with this builder 12 months ago. And if we had, we'd have built our own house. So gutted we didn't manage that. So we managed to get one last house out of the last six. We got the detached one. The rest of them were big pairs. So they give us a chance on there. And we could have walked to work, but for the tools. Enhance your knowledge. Hello, how are you? We're great, thank you. You're lucky of uh, your quarters. We nearly ended the stream 10 minutes ago. Thanks yeah. for joining us. <laughs> I was still playing stuff. I think I'm going to splash it on the scaffold. Yep, love it, but the draw back is there's nowhere to, is no nowhere to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think with how good your work always looks, you get all your jobs through word of mouth and don't have to advertise. Yeah, that's true. Never advertised. No. Um, it is. It's word of mouth, basically. Like, oh, the, the amount of times I've done one job and we've just, like, got ten jobs from that. I did we, I did a, a wall once down this street and ended up doing nearly every wall in the cul-de-sac, just worked around the cul-de-sac because everyone wanted the same walls doing. And yeah. the garage conversions on the on the site on our old estate. Oh, yeah, we've done about... We must have done 10 or 12 garage conversions on, on our old estate. And the last couple we've done of... Um, we had we had three to do. One of them fell through because um, complications. Complications. <laughs> not through. Not our fault. The, the other lot of work with had a bit of a complication with them. That fell through. So we did next door one to them, and then we, worked, we did across the road, and it's the same house. Well, so the videos are up, aren't they? Yeah. The second one's not up yet. So it will well, be up. The, the, the re most recent garage conversion. It's on. Well, I'm, I'm sure they'll recognise like all the houses are the same. Yeah. Yeah, but these, it's funny enough, um, we did one a while ago on a similar house, it was a four bedroom down the road, but that wasn't a very good brick match because the bricks condition discontinued, but these last three, we managed to get a really per perfect match, same bricks, and then um, I remember Mark asking where we got the sills from, the sills come from Doncaster, which is a bit of a trek from here, but it's, the customers have been picking up in the cars because it's £70 delivery. So the last couple of customers went to, went to Doncaster and got, because they come in two pieces, pick them up themselves. Here for the first time. Oh, well, hope you... Thanks enjoy. for joining us. Yeah, hope you enjoy this. Yeah, if you, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll be able to watch all our other videos. Do you ever tell your contact details on YouTube? I must say I didn't even know where you were located. Perhaps that would be... Perhaps it would help getting more private jobs. The only contact is the email, really, isn't it? Yeah, if, if people can contact us if you want to. Um, we've had a few people you can contact us on Instagram as well through a direct message on Instagram but we also have our email in the description of every video underneath if you click on the description of the video everything pops up and it's, it shows our Instagram and our email so then you can you can because um, we did some giveaways at 10,000 subscribers so we had to give a way of contacting us so we've left it up there now and we have had people contact us for work every, all over the place we have a builder who I talked to and he is exactly the same as he said. I can't escape of our estate. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to be. It'd be great. Yeah, we get a lot of local work now. A lot of our work is in the is the is in Olmskirk. Like that's where we've been for the last twelve days in this pointing job. And then um there's always lintels to do. I think the fit that we've got a a pointing job in Southport to do that's gonna be a really trip. That's going to be a long trek, but not compared to what we used to do. I have to get up a bit early for that one. 
But I've also found a really good scaffold company, JRH Scaffolding, I think they're called. Fantastic. Really good scaffold, reasonably priced, and a really nice nice guy as well. Now I've met him. I do well with him, and I always recommend him, anyone local. Well, my neighbours want a porch too. <laughs> they do, Mark and Tracy on the porch. Do they? Yeah. Well, I didn't even know. Yeah. Mark was talking about it yesterday. Is it perfection like yours? Who's that? John. Ah, uh-huh. yeah. YouTube helps. Helps keep you on your toes. Because if you make any mistakes on YouTube, then you get hammered for it. There's a lot of things I used to do differently on until I started doing this YouTube channel. And I've learnt a lot of things. We get a lot of nice, friendly comments saying about how uh, how we've made some slight errors. Yeah. <laughs> where's your where's your F in this? Where's yeah. no F in to brick ties? Oh, the, I wish I had a pound for every time someone said we hadn't put ties in. Or we hadn't tied to the to the house. Oh. I overcompensate with bloody ties. Yeah. Good luck, keep it up, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Same to you, Dean. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Oh. Should we go to 50? Yeah. Okay. Now we've got four minutes left. You need to get a gazebo made for the back of your pickup mark with a little zip zip door on it. Like a portal. My goodness. <laughs> well you're the one who's here. You can go anytime you want. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't even invited. So you'd be on Amazon. What's your favourite cavity insulation? Um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. It's the, uh, I like the, the full fill fiberglass stuff. I've been using that since I was an apprentice. And um, it has a lot of people don't like it, but I've never had any problems with it. And recently we've had a much better... The better stuff. The yeah. better stuff that's more solid. It, you, you just slot it in yeah. instead of fighting with it. Def- yeah, the full fill, that's the stuff I like. Like Charlie Collinson says, if, you're, if you've got the 100 mil insulation, make your, make your cavity 105, 108 maybe. Charlie even goes to 110. But you've got to be careful going too big for your lintels. But always make your cavity slightly bigger because that stuff will expand. And if you get the really cheap stuff that's crap, it really does expand a lot. If you go for the, uh, I can't remember which one it's called. It's the, it's it's in a yellow packet, yellow, and it's um, it's very rigid, and it keeps its shape and it keeps its size, and it's it's very easy to work with, and it doesn't push your blocks out. But always just make your cavity slightly bigger than the insulation is. I'm using Zebo. I'm using full fill. Any tips to stop just pushing? That one. Oh, that's that's it, yeah. Oh, oh. And then the mark about his gazebo, oh. his toilet. <laughs> Fiber cuts better when you trial, I find. <laughs> Fiber cuts better with your trial, I find. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Oh, we always use our trial for cutting. Good tip. I'm using the. Knauf. 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 Yeah, the, I think, I think another that stuff is that the brown stuff, the re- reconstituted plastic bottle stuff. The stuff we use is the yellow. Just keep, just keep them. I don't know if, I've got a picture of it here somewhere. Well, we've got a minute left of the stream anyway. Right. I do have a picture of it on here. The screenshots. I took a picture of it so I can remember what it's called. There it is. Well, let's put in the uh, confetti because we're because we're ending. <laughs> there you go. Ice over. It's not uh, focusing. There's the name anyway. Ice over the yellow stuff. You Google it. It's about thirty odd quid a pack. Ice over. 
and it's the CWS 36. I used to have a CWS 36. You can get you can get it shop around, and that is it's probably about the same price as the stuff. I think that that can have stuff come from BQ. But if you go to a merchant's proper building merchants and shop around for the ice over, you'll find that stuff is miles better stuff. I'd rather pay the extra and use that stuff than get cheaper stuff locally. Here we have to keep a cavity between the external leaf and the insulation. Full fill insulation is not allowed. Yes, yeah, in that. That's um um Adam. That video, uh, seeing the wheels of Adam's eyes, they do that. And it's the, uh, you build the block work, joint it, put your insulation on, and then you tape it. And it's well, it's a bit of a palaver, but it's, it is a good way of doing it. It's a pain in the ass to build, though. You can't do your, your face work first. Happy Christmas and a prosperous new year to you both. Thank you, and you too. Thank you very much, John. Okay, thanks, Boris. What's this? Where are you? Where oh. are you in Rinse? In Scotland, they have to do that because of the weather. Is that right? What's that? Oh, yeah, Rinse. Yeah, we have to keep... Oh, it's, it's talking train. One minute fifty. Okay. Same. Yeah, that's it. I think we'll wrap it up now. Yeah. Thank you very much for everyone coming in. Yeah, and we'll have to do another one, uh, maybe after Christmas. So let's talk about uh, our plans for next year with everybody. Right, it's coffee time. <laughs> oh, one quick... Oh. Hello, Steve, and improver. Just a quick question for you. My neighbour wants his front wall built. He has taken it down to the bottom course. Right, I think that's probably part, the first part of the question. Exactly, in all these first in insulation. It's four metres long and five calls high. Well, assuming the foundation's all right, then that's... He yeah, hasn't asked the question yet. Oh, oh yeah. Any ideas on the price? There you go. <laughs> Let me have a look. Um... Four metres long and five quarters high. That's a nice little wall to start off with. Um, I'd price it on day work and um, work how many bricks are in it and how many you think you can do in a day. Um, you could get the customer to buy all the materials, which is what I used to do. Make it, just keep it simple. You work out what you need, tell them what, tell them what you, they need and get them to order it. And then you decide how long it's going to take you and then charge accordingly. It's up to you. Um, you know how good you are at the moment. And you, you'll know how long it will take you. Obviously, we haven't, we haven't got a clue about it. So it's, it's all up to you, really. It's a tough one to price for somebody else, if you know what I mean, when we don't know your abilities. But that's right, do get the customer to buy the materials and then you do, you come up with a day work price for it. You just need a trench block for each end. Yeah. And a couple of profiles. <laughs> yep, so that's it then. Time to call it. Yeah, so thanks for everyone tuning in. Yeah. And uh, happy Christmas and happy new year. Yeah, stay safe. Have a good one. Stay safe and have a, have a good made the most out of the end of this terrible year. And let's look forward to, uh, hopefully 2021 is going to be better. Yep. We'll always be there getting our injections in the new year. Some of us quicker than others because I'm 52. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 21. <laughs> You'll be right down the Yeah, list. I'll be last. <laughs> yep, so that's it. It's time to end the stream. So just give a quick minute for everyone to say goodbye. Kettle on. That's mum saying that. Do it for a drink and learn from it. That's, that's a good one, Gareth. Cheers for that. Glad to have a bit of advice on the scene. <laughs> no problem, pal. You just, anytime you want any advice, you just go in the, on any of our videos, go in the comments, and we, we answer every comment. We never ignore any comments. If it, if, it, if it shows up. Yeah, Sometimes shows you've had up. the odd few yeah. that show up. Yeah, yeah. But we're always, we always try our best to answer everybody's. Or just or drop a message on the Instagram as well. Yeah, yeah, we, we answer everything on Instagram too. Well, shameless plug there. Yeah. See you later. See you later. Thanks again. <laughs>